I have a quick demonstration here of three balls lined up in a row, okay? And what this is imitating is a fastball coming on a slight downward hill through the zone. And like I said, the biggest issue are kids are trying to pull the ball. So I want you to focus on what that means by pulling the ball. So if I'm trying to hit this middle ball right here, and I'm trying to pull it to the pull side, what I have to do is take the sweet spot of my bat out around the line that the pitch is coming in on in order to pull that ball to the left side of the field, right? So I want you to focus on what happens when I do that. If I'm trying to pull everything, what happens when I'm a little bit late? I get jammed, right? And that's what causes those weak ground balls to the left side. If I'm perfectly on time, I can have some success with that and do some damage. But if I'm just a little bit out front, I'm hitting that ball at the end of the bat every single time. So let me ask you the question of, how many at bats are you perfectly on time? So whenever I ask that question, I usually get the response of one out of 10 or 10% of that bats, right? So how is hitting about being perfectly on time whenever you're on time, just 10% of it? Hitting is about what you do when your timing is off. Yeah. Cause you're off 90% of your at bats. And here's why staying inside the ball is so important. And I'm sure you've heard that term before, stay inside the ball, but you have no clue what it means or how to do it or why you want to do it. Well, here's exactly why. So same demonstration, fastball coming in. If I can learn how to relax my hands and drive my hands inside the ball, now look what happens. If I'm a little bit late, I'm still able to barrel that ball up and shoot it to the opposite field. Mm -hmm. Think Derek Jeter, he was a master of that. If I'm perfectly on time, I'm squaring that up, I'm hitting it back up the middle. And if I'm just a little bit out front, I'm still able to barrel that ball up and get good contact and able to drive that pitch to all parts of the field. And that's why players like Miguel Cabrera, Albert Pujols, yeah. they do so well staying inside the ball that their timing does not have to be perfect in order for them to get consistent barrel contact. Yeah. You're maximizing your, I mean, your, your opportunity for solid contact, like you say. I mean, how many times are you out front? How many times do you lot. get jammed? Exactly. I mean, a whole lot more times than you'd like. That's what we're teaching here. We're, ho we're taking you from one out of 10 to four out of 10, five out of 10, six out of 10. Exactly. Now everything you hit near about is squared up, barreled up. If they catch it, so what? I yep. squared it up. That's the whole concept of hitting here.